Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Uh, it is like beyond an honor to be able to chat with you today. I'm buzzing. I'm so excited and uh, so pumped about your new album, Queen of Me. It has such a good message, which I want to touch on later, but I know you're coming to Canada uh, this spring, which we are absolutely elated about. And the demand was so high that you booked your shows and then you're coming back in the winter too, which I've never seen an artist do in the same year. So how are you How are you feeling about all of this craziness right now? Well, I, I'm feeling... Um... I'm feeling very embraced. It's very, it feels nice. You know, I feel good about it. Um, I, you know, I'm 57 and uh, in the years that I started, well, I think 30 years ago now uh, in, in record making many, many more years in the music, you know, as a, as a, as an artist, but the kids that would come to my concerts earlier on have grown up. So now at my age, uh, those kids are your age, you know, for example, or, you know, they're, um, they're a lot younger than my own age group because they were kids that grew up and it's like a reunion. Mm -hmm. So I feel like I'm celebrating this reunion with everyone young and old and, um, you know, and then, and their kids, people are starting, you know, now they're starting to have their own kids, uh, so Big old just, family reunion. Yeah. <laughs> yes, which is why I had, you know, why I really, uh, it's important to put the sticker on the, on the language uh, notice on the album. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I love that you have the Mrs. Potts things too there. I loved your performance uh, with that. You've got Chip and Mrs. Potts, which is no. so cute. And your costumes were so amazing too. And I love your little security stuffy that you have as well, just to keep you coming. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so obviously it's a very exciting time. Like you said, it's this family re reunion that's happening. And I know I wasn't the only one that was saving up to go see you in Vegas. So I think it's so exciting that now you're coming to us and everyone kind of gets this accessibility and in Vegas, everything's so much bigger and just so grandiose. And are there certain elements that you're taking from that show to bring on the road? No, the Vegas show is a completely different production. Wow. So it's a whole new show um, because, you know, the, the Vegas show does not travel. It's very much a stationary production. And I, want I was to wondering how the horses would get to. Uh... Ah, yeah, I'm not taking horses. <laughs> um, no, this will be a much. Yeah, it'll be just an entirely different show. Mm, okay. I love that. Yeah. Different show. Well, one thing that obviously, I mean, one of my favorite things about you, aside from just your pure talent and uh, all your your music, is you are the queen of a look. You have these iconic looks that live on and seem to age well. Like, you know, it's not like something where you look back and you're like, ooh, I shouldn't have done that. They They stand the test of time. And, you know, there's the don't impress me much leopard. I feel like a woman, any man of mine waking up dreaming the Junos, another crazy look night. And I know that you take a big front seat when it comes to the creative aspect um, of your look. And I just wonder, like, what's your inspiration behind the concepts? What what's your process behind it? And what's one of your favorite looks? Maybe a three in one question now that I think about it. Well, most of the inspirations are coming from me just visualizing the way the song would look, uh, whether it's an element, a location, a, a color scheme, something like that. And then the fashion comes into it because it's got to be practical. It's got, is it, you know, is, are, is it going to be outside? Is it going to be inside? What does that mean for the fabrics? What kind of lighting um, are we going to be able to have uh, in order to make it all work and come together? So it's a very, it's a process for sure. It's a production mm -hmm. process. And the depending, I mean, so if I, okay. So let's just take, um, I think a good one, a good example would be, well, okay, let's take a more like fashion orientated one. Uh, that don't, that don't, uh, that don't impress me much. Okay. Oh, okay. So, I'm going to be out in the hot desert. I know that. 
Uh, I'm wearing stretch velvet, but it had to be midriff. It had to be sleeveless underneath so I could take the jacket off when I needed to go. So many practical things come into play. Yeah. Right. Otherwise, I mean, you still have to be able to shoot. So yeah. Um, all these things come into what it is actually going to be in the end. Uh, we want and it was to- an iconic look. It's one of those absolutely iconic looks where, like, did you have any idea at the time that you think, oh, I wonder if I'm now going to be known for leopard print and, you know, the, this is going to take off? No, I didn't know that. It just <laughs> kept going. You know, the leopard print just sort of stayed as one of my um, staples. A little like like a stamp, I guess, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But it is my go-to uh, neutral. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Is- and so is that, and then to answer, what is your favorite all-time iconic look where you're like, oh, I wish I could wear that every day? Ah. The, I, oh, that's a good one. I, something that I would want to wear every day. Pretend it's comfortable. Pretend it's oh, comfortable. Oh, pretend it's comfortable. <laughs> well, all the stretches, all the stretches were really good. Mark Bauer always uh, made the very, you know, the really lovely um, stretchable things. I think if I was to wear something every day and it would be um, probably comfortable is, um, the white Grammy dress. Oh, yes. Was that the same one with the little sheer, the thing? It had sequins on it. Oh, okay. And it was, it was not, uh, it's so light. And so it feels like a pajama. Oh. Classic. Yeah. A great silhouette too. Okay. Things are um, going faster than I imagined in my head. So I'm going to give one more question. Um, I want to just quickly find out what was, what did the celebration look like after you found out the woman and me come on over and up were all diamond albums. You were the first person to have three consecutive albums do that. What was, what did the night look like when you found that out? Like, did you buy yourself something? Did you celebrate? What did that celebration look like to you? Honestly, I, at that point in my life, I wasn't, I didn't have time to reflect on the enormity, sorry, excuse me, of that accomplishment. I was probably in production for a new video or something like that Wow! in reality. So, but now I can say that looking back at that and looking back at all of those achievements, especially going through the, um, not just a girl documentary, you know, getting going through all of that footage and revisiting the, 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 the achievements. This is now when I'm able to absorb it and go, wow, that was an enormous moment um, uh, in my career, but a huge achievement as a a professional. And as, as a person, it was um, uh, grueling and tiring and uh, stressful. It's everything that it takes to have that kind of success. It's struggle. Mm -hmm. Um, And if you watch athletes or anyone on a journey to excellence or to it, like a, some sort of pinnacle uh place it's all blood sweat and tears <laughs> yeah big time i wish you got to enjoy that i'm glad you can reflect now on it and kind of see exactly. how huge it was but i'm sure you're whisked off to yeah the next thing to just put in more work which paid off because look at you now well i had such a great time there are so many things i don't wanted to ask um you're just a huge icon of mine i love just your pure feminism but in the positive way that you put it out there i love the queen of me album it's this like disco-y country just self-empowerment album and i'm so excited to see it when you come to canada um and the vinyls leopard print which i'm so excited about i love that too so uh i love you so much and thank you so much for everything you've done for women in country women everywhere uh we appreciate you and we can't wait to see your show soon See you there. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.